Well, good morning. It's time for breakfast here at the Heavy Hippie household, and uh, thought I'd show y'all what I eat for breakfast from start to finish. There's already some prep work done. I'll tell y'all about that when I get to it. But let's get started cooking some breakfast. All right. So first thing I do is I have this nice little mister. This is taking my olive oil use down, uh, literally cut it by 90%. So you just pump this thing a couple times, spray it in the pan, and that little spray right there is all I need. And this, this is a good non-stick pan, but I still use some spray. Uh, but before I got this, I mean, I would've used a whole ounce or so, or a tablespoon of uh, olive oil, and this just cuts way, way, way back on how much olive oil and you gotta remember, olive oil is great, but it's a fat. So, we need some healthy fats, just need to limit them. All right, so I get that, get the pan heated up. First thing I need to do is cut up my onion. I didn't have one already chopped up, so we got a new one. This is what I do. Take off the top, take off the bottom, cut it in half. Skins go in my little trash. This is my little. This is this is the best cutting board I've ever gotten. My wife got it for me. Uh, it's antimicrobial. Antimicrobial. Ah, I'll figure out how to spell it. Um, it also has this little thing where if you're chopping stuff up, you can pull it in there and dump it into the pan. But I use it more as a place for my uh, my, my waste to go. All right, so. I got my two onion halves. This is a little bit bigger one, so I'm gonna use this one for my breakfast because and this will go to lunch. This little little half will go to lunch. This big half will be for my breakfast because it cooks down and when I eat it for lunch it, it's raw. So again I just chop everything up really pretty small. I used to worry about breaking all the little pieces of onions up before I put them in the pan, but I realized that as they cook down, they'll uh, they'll they'll take care of themselves. So here's where it starts to get kind of busy. Luckily, I already have some stuff prepped. So what I do is just scoop and drop it into the pan. All right. Very important thing about using non-stick pans. All right. Either use wood or plastic, because the metal uh, spatulas or whatever you use, spoons, they uh, they damage the liner. And you don't want to do that. All right, so my pan's still heating up just a little bit, so I got time to do whatever other prep work I need to do. I have a lot to do. My peppers, I have those chopped up already. I got green and orange peppers. Let me get a bunch of those out. Yeah, yeah, that looks like good enough. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't have any hot peppers in it in this one today. That's okay. Sometimes I put jalapenos. Sometimes I'll experiment. I like putting a little bit of different stuff in there. Not sure if y'all can hear, it, but the onions are starting to hiss, so I just want to keep them moving around. Cause here's the thing: non-stick pans, nothing sticks to them, but you can still burn your food. And you get this black film on the bottom of the uh, on the pan that's the burnt part of the food. It doesn't stick to it, but it certainly is burnt, burns the food. So you just gotta kind of be careful about that. Uh, I'm gonna cut my heat back just a little bit. I usually cook uh, everything just a little bit below medium. All right, so I've got my peppers, onions. Uh, I mean, no, not onions. Uh, mushrooms. What I've learned about mushrooms is when you get them out of that little cardboard container. Put them in some Tupperware because they will go nasty quick. Brown is okay. Soft and snotty is not okay. Alright, so I got those. Need to chop these up. I 
I chopped the mushrooms up really small because the mushrooms, they, they, they just cook pretty much down to nothing anyway. And that's a time saver. Uh, the smaller pieces cook faster. All right, so we got my onions going, my peppers waiting, my mushrooms waiting, and that's how they're gonna go in the pan. These are gonna stay in here for a little while. Then I'll put these in, they're gonna stay in with the onions for a little while. Then the mushrooms, then the eggs. So let's get to working on these eggs. Two beautiful brown cage-free vegan fed eggs. You can get these anywhere. And yes, egg, these eggs cost way more than those white food line eggs. But man, they're so much better. They are so, so much better for you and they taste so much better. They even look better. Uh, you know, like the, the yolks and stuff. So what I do is I just use a coffee cup. Dump them in there. And of course I always end up getting a little bit of a shell in there. And it would happen when I'm trying to record. So the good thing is you can usually just fish them right out. And notice I say usually because I knew since I was doing this on video it was going to take me forever to get this one out. Alright. Got my shell out. Onions are starting to cook. I need to keep them going, moving around. And then I thought about uh, like fast forwarding through some of this stuff, but I really wanted to show you how long it takes me to cook breakfast because I'm unfortunate. I'm not on the time schedule. A lot of you are. So, got those onions moved around so they don't start to. All right, so here are my eggs. I hope you can see them. Might have the wrong angle. I can't really tell from that tiny screen. But uh, nice, beautiful eggs. Just break them up, shake them around. I would assume if you're willing to try to cook, you've probably scrambled eggs before. But you never know. So you just want to get it to where everything's nice and mixed. When you stop and you look down, you don't want to see two separated things. You just want to see one nice, smooth liquid. And I really hope y'all can see that here. Probably not. Sorry about that. All right. So anyway, what else I do is I put in a, a sea salt. I don't have the Celtic sea salt just because I can't find it. We don't, you know, uh, just just a little bit, a little ground black pepper. Again, I really hope y'all can see. Oh, not really, probably, because I can barely see it. But you just want to get everything mixed together. Good. And now the fun's getting ready to start happening, I'm telling you. It's getting ready to happen. Alright, so, these onions. They're looking good, looking like they're about halfway done, which is outstanding. Because. When about halfway done, it's time to throw in these beautiful peppers. And what I have found the secret to being able to eat the same thing every day is sometimes it's green peppers, sometimes it's orange peppers, sometimes it's yellow peppers, sometimes it's red onion. They are at my absolute favorite, but they are more expensive. Um, so just color it up, man. Make things colorful. The more colorful things are, the more likely you are to eat them. Y'all probably knew that. I'm a mess. I make a huge mess. And it looks like I probably made them. So here's the thing. I probably made way too many veggies. Okay. But that's okay. Under the DDP Yoga Nutrition Plan, veggies are free. You can eat as many as you want. We're not counting calories here. Okay. We're eating the right foods that we need throughout the day. I know that these onions and peppers, they're going to kick my digestive system into overdrive. That's what gets your day started, that first meal of the day, and get your digestive system working. So yeah, I eat a big breakfast, but it's almost all freebies. I have that little spray of olive oil, which is a healthy fat, 
I have this huge thing of vegetables, which are unlimited on the plan. My mushrooms, I, are they a fungus? I don't know. I mean, they're a vegetable, they're a fungus, who cares, right? But I, from what I'm, I'm pretty sure they're, they're a freebie on the plant. If not, eh, they are, they're on. They're mushrooms. All right, so I have my onions in. Basically, we want those to start browning just a little bit. When they're when you're when everything's starting to come together, you want the onions to be just just browning just a little bit. These peppers, what you want to do is you'll see their color kind of just pop, just come alive. Uh, usually, I listen to the radio while I do this, so I don't really have a whole lot to say. I can sing to you. What do you want me to sing? No? Okay, let's not sing. Yeah. But you see, the onions, they're breaking up. There's no reason to spend a whole bunch of time separating each layer of the onion. It just does it in the pan. Alright, so we've got a little bit longer to do. What I'm going to do, so what I do every day, is I'm going to just start putting my stuff away. i got my half of onion for lunch. From a salad, I've got plenty of peppers to last me probably the next uh, two, three days. Mushrooms, I will not eat all these mushrooms before I can. They do what I consider going bad, where they get soft and mushy and kind of snotty. Uh, mushrooms, I found I love almost every mushroom I've had except there was that one, the oyster mushroom. Okay, I can eat oysters and I can eat mushrooms, but I never, ever, ever want to eat a mushroom that looks and tastes or feels like an oyster. <clears throat> so let me spin this around now that I've wasted a bunch of time talking. Keep everything moving around in the pan. That's a lot of veggies. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to throw this stuff in the refrigerator and I'll be right back. Some days I'll add spinach to this. Uh, I try to change it up a little bit. Back when I first started DDP, the first 60 days or so, um, I put cheese in there, feta cheese, and that's okay. And I'll even tell you, it's not time yet to put it in. I'll tell you when it's time. Uh, but I've just gotten away from dairy altogether for the most part, except for when I break down and have ice cream or something that I'm not supposed to have. Uh, but every little bit counts. And frankly, cheese, no matter what type of cheese it is, it's something you don't need. And if, if you have to have cheese to eat your two egg scramble, three egg scramble, if you got to have cheese, put cheese in it. Because I'd much rather somebody eat this with a little bit of feta cheese or even a little bit of worse cheese. Not worst like a brand, but worse like, I don't know, cheddar or something. Then to go out and get a bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle. All right, well, it's about time my onions, I don't, you probably can't tell, my onions are starting to brown just a hair. So what I'm gonna do is throw in these mushrooms. I just make a mess. I'm, I'm not a clean cook. I don't know many cooks that are clean. So now we're just waiting for everything to cook down just a little bit. Uh, Like I said, it's, it's, right now we're just in that waiting game pattern of making sure everything's cooked solid. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, there's nothing in here you can't eat raw. Eggs, maybe. I know people eat eggs raw. But, uh, 
you know, it's just, so basically you're wanting to cook all this stuff to where you want to eat it. I like, uh, like I said, I like my onions to start to brown, maybe get it just a touch burnt. Uh, I like these peppers to be nice and pretty. I think I might have thrown them in there a little too early this time around. Um, and the mushrooms is kind of what I gauge when it's ready to throw my my eggs in. Because, uh, like I said, the mushrooms, they cook down. Uh, my pan is the uh, Oat Greenies pan, I think. Uh, I know you can get them from Bed Bath & Beyond a couple different places. I can't remember where my wife picked this one up at. Uh, I highly recommend it. But here again is the thing, okay? We bought this pan, and I did something that men aren't supposed to do. I peeled the thing off and I actually read the directions, okay? And did you know you're supposed to season non-stick pans? I never knew that. All right. So what you had to do is I had to put a little bit of light, uh, a little bit of basic canola, canola oil or uh, uh, vegetable oil. I just happened to have had this. With, we've had this probably for, I don't know, six, seven, eight, nine months now. Because we haven't used it at all since we started the DDD, DDP yoga program. We've been strictly using olive oil. And uh, so I sprayed this in the pan, wiped it down, and I had to put it in the oven at... Uh, I was it was like a really high temperature, like in the 400s. Uh, and I had to leave it in there for an hour or three maybe even, I don't know. But uh, I did it. And it says to continue to do that uh, twice a year uh, for, the, for the life of your pan. And I've honestly have had the best experience with this pan of any pan I've ever had. And this is a $20 pan. Uh, and a lot of people think that's expensive, and I agree. It can be expensive, especially, look at me, I just talked to you and threw that right back in. Let's get that out of there. Um, that can be an, you know, $20 can be an expensive pan, especially when you can go to the Dollar General and buy a frying pan, a non-stick frying pan for like uh, five bucks. But I've also been fortunate enough in my life to own uh, Pampered Chef pans. And those things were, uh, whew, I mean, we got those for our wedding gift, and we're coming up on our 13th anniversary. So, you know, those things were, we got those that 13, 12 years ago, 13 years ago, I guess. And, you know, they're great pans, but those things cost a fortune back then, and they, they've only gone up. So, uh, I'm going to be looking into more of this, this company, this uh Oh, greenies. I, I don't even know why, what the organic part of it is, or if that's just a little gimmick. I don't know. All right, so my mushrooms are starting to cook down really good. Time to get going on mixing on this. I hope y'all can see that. It looks just like a black hole to me on a little viewfinder. But I just want to mix up all that salt and pepper and egg, white and yolk, towards just one beautiful dark yellow color. Just dump it right into the middle of the vegetables. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this in the sink and let some uh, hot water run over because I'm gonna use this fork again. Yes, I reuse plastic forks. I don't care what you think about it. Um, but uh, I mean, I'll use these things till they break. So I got that going, give your eggs just, just a minute, I mean, not even literally a minute, just a minute in cooking time. So what are we gonna call it? Like a 30 seconds or so to just get in the pan, get comfortable, and then start keeping it off of that pan. Because again, it's not gonna stick to the pan. These eggs will not stick to this pan. This pan is super easy to clean. But what it will do is burn the hell out of them if you don't get them off and continue to move them. So what I do, and I've got, still got my hot water running over my fork, and you'll see what I do here in just a second. Uh, we won't see it because I got the camera focused in on the pan. But uh, I got it going, I got hot water running into that cup.
I mean, look at that. If that that's beautiful to me. And, and that's so much food there that if it doesn't fill you up, man, something's wrong. And uh, this keeps me full till, till lunchtime. Like, sometimes I'll... I'll get busy doing stuff and I won't even realize, like I try to eat breakfast between eight and nine, eat lunch between 12.30 and one. And I pick my son up from the bus stop at 2.25. I'll eat this in the mornings before nine o'clock and I, I, it'll come time for me to go pick up my son and I had realized that I hadn't eaten uh, lunch because I'm still full. And a lot of times that includes the DDP yoga workout in there. So, uh, I mean, I'm very, very happy with how this is uh this this sustains me throughout the morning all right so i'm gonna go go wash my fork real quick let this sit for just a minute come back uh mix uh mix it up a little bit more and it'll be time to eat So one of the other things I want to tell you about this greenie real quick that I found out that absolutely works 100% is uh, in that same cup where I just washed my fork, I had my dishcloth soaking in hot uh, water with a little bit of uh, dish soap in it. And what, it, what, what greenie recommends to do to clean their pan is when you're done, cool it off a little bit with running water and then wash it really good with that uh, the uh, washcloth, not a scrub brush, okay? that uh, brush, rinse it out, and dry it so it doesn't get water spots or anything. Man, this pan, I can see this pan lasting me a long, long time for 20 bucks. Will it last as long as this pan for Chef? Hmm, probably not, but return on your investment. I think this greenie is where it's, this o greenie or whatever it's called is where it's at. So. one cup of, look at that that's one that that's a good meal that is a healthy meal that has vegetables protein everything you need to start your day uh, I know some people would prefer to add some carbohydrates I'm not a carbohydrate type guy uh, I'll eat my first carbohydrate at lunchtime uh, but we'll talk about that on a different day right now it's time for me to go wash this greenie and then go eat that awesome two egg scramble so, I feel like I should show you my face at least one more time. <laughs> so, for now, it's time, yeah, that's off. Time to leave Heavy Hippie's kitchen. Bang, baby! <laughs>